right, now we've run into a few problems. Um, first problem here is in the other video, I f um, well actually it wasn't even in the other video, but anyway, I made the ship's engine room here and I forgot to make it and so I added it and now I've come to this wall here, this hallway, except for there's no way to, to mesh in here. I didn't make a, a proper, um, I don't know what to call it, a little box. Um, so anyway, so I select these two lines and then I'm just going to subdivide two times and then you'll see that the lines are way down here, not where we want them to be. So I want snap to and I'm going to go snap to an edge. Move this up a little bit. So we select this, grab it, and then you can see it's bending so I'm just going to force it to the Y. So that gives that a nice one. Same thing here. Grab, force to Y, snap to the point. And now you can see that we have a nice box for this to go right into. So we grab this. We can also force it to the X and snap it to there. Then circle select, select all the points and remove doubles. And there we have it. Pretty easy. I also had to do the same thing. I didn't see these little doors, so I had to go back and put these in for the hatches. So now the next big problem. Oh, before we get to that, um, I did all the work over here for these. Um, hmm, I don't even know why that's there. There's no doorway there. Oh, I think maybe I saw a line coming across here, one of the grid lines or something. Um, in any case, we don't need it. So there are a lot of ways to get rid of that, but probably the easiest is to do something called edge slide and just snap it right down to here. What the heck did I just do? Escape. Um, I do have edge slide on, right? Yep. Edge slide. Yeah, okay, it's working. So it's snapped down here. I'll grab this one. Also do edge slide down to the bottom. Um, I don't know why snapping didn't work, but it doesn't really matter. Um, circle select. Select all those points. And remove doubles. And four vertices removed. And we can see that that was fixed. Except now we have another one right here in the corner that we don't need. Again, don't have a clue how that got there. But it's easy to get rid of. So, edge slide. Down to the bottom. Select. Remove doubles. So that's all cleaned up, and we're happy with that. There's another one here. Again, I don't have a clue why that's there. Edge slide doesn't work unless you just have the possible edge that can be slid. Okay, good. That's all cleaned up. Any other sillinesses going on around here? That right there is a little silly, but it's on both sides, and I'm really not too worried about it won't hurt much. But on the other hand, it's silly, so let's get rid of it. I'm often not a perfectionist with the art, because it's just art. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
but um, since we're going to be we're going to be painting these walls, it's probably easier to get rid of things like this. And I should probably just um, remember the shortcuts for these, remove doubles and edge slide and all that. But I haven't memorized them, so I'm clicking, which is slower, kind of silly. All right, over here we have a problem of this wall is one centimeter, this wall is five centimeters. And I'm not gonna waste your time showing you how to do all this, but um, basically what I'm gonna select these things here, the whole the whole hallway up and down. I did it on this side, and uh, just merely slide the wall over like I did in the other video, so that they all line up. And then it's just a matter of taking this wall here, and as you can see, there's a sliver there. There are a lot of ways you can make that sliver, and I could even make it a triangle here over, but. Um, I like straight lines. I guess that's just because of doing, um, if you're doing organic shapes like faces, having, um, having squares is way better than triangles in a lot of cases. And uh, people do a lot of work to make sure they always have boxes and not triangles, except for in special places. And so I tend to do that in situations where it's not so important like this. Um, I'm going to subdivide this five times, here, actually four times, so that I have five lines. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Um, I picked the wrong edges. <coughs> I need to wake up, I guess. Now you can see we have all of them. So now it's just a matter of taking this here and extruding it out to wherever it needs to go. So that's a pretty simple problem to fix. Um, and then you're left with all these extra edges and then it's just a matter of selecting them. And doing the edge slide just like we did before. vertices removed and so that's done pretty quick and easy way to do it you could also probably do um, the uh, where is it loop cut and slide but uh, it doesn't seem to work with snapping so it's a little bit difficult to line it up to this edge so I just use the other way it's quick enough um, Anything else? Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Next step is going to be going to a 3D view. I'm going to finish up these couple of rooms here using the same procedures, sliding things around and lining them up with other things. Snapping. Snapping is, is really the fundamental. Video channel. Uh, then you'll get automatic updates, and I don't post much, so you don't have to worry about being flooded. Uh, anything?
anything else. Nothing I can think of right now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.